Welcome to Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com. I'm Kevin Sinclair, and this is Weekly Film Impressions. Uh, we're going to get into two different prospects this week, jumping right into the hot topic, which is Dion Colsey, a top 100 receiver who was committed to Notre Dame and decommitted from Notre Dame. And in about a week, he's going to be announcing his commitment. Um, Notre Dame really trending up there. Um, I got a hold of his game film from last Friday night and had a look, um, sort of compared him to what I saw last season. And um, really a, a physically matured receiver this year. But what really jumped off the screen to me was really his speed. Always been a fast kid, but it's the way he applies it. The way he comes off the ball uh, in his route running really showed, and we're going to have a look at that right now. Dion Colsey at the bottom of the screen here. Very first offensive snap of the game for Athens Academy. And watch Colsey go up in between two defenders and come up with the ball. Really nice play here from the big body receiver from Georgia. And again, down at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see Colsey this time get over top of the coverage. Really nice adjustment on this over-the-shoulder pass. Now, with Deion Colsey really having that uh, vertical threat, the way he comes off the ball, being pretty aggressive, a lot of speed there, uh, it really helps out his short game as well. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. Colsey at the bottom of the screen here, and third and 12, showing off that vertical threat. He's able to break at about 14 to ensure the first down. Great job there by Colsey. And again, here, third and four. With that vertical threat, you can see how much separation he gets just coming up field. Another first down as he broke at about six or seven. And that's really good stuff from Deion Colsey. So with a, a really quick receiver with uh, Lorenzo Styles Jr. committed to Notre Dame, if they can add a guy like Colsey at 6'4", who looks like about 200 pounds right now, uh, would just be a, a massive tandem for Notre Dame. And, and next up, uh, Kane Barong. Um, over the off season, you know, he's a kid. I, I, I really like the way he works. Um, really seeing every specialist and and all kinds of training that he can take in his area. And you know, he got up to 235 pounds, adding 10 pounds uh, to his frame. And you can really see um, the explosiveness and and sort of elusiveness in his route running and and after the catch. Uh, let's have a look. Wrong attached to the right tackle here, standing up, uh, comes up field crosses over the middle of the field for the catch and here's where he shows off some of that toughness and some of that extra added power as he sort of extends into the end zone nice job there attach the right tackle again quick chip block and then along the line of scrimmage um, now watch the acceleration sort of added power as he rumbles up the sideline uh, until he's tripped up it should also be noted that uh, came wrong last season a run heavy offense really uh, developed his blocking game and we've seen that early in his senior season as well uh, taking a defender right into the bench uh, uh, this last Friday night. So um, really putting together a well-rounded package there in Cain Barong. And, and that wraps up Weekly Film Impressions. I'm Kevin Sinclair at Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com.